Welcome back, everybody. Good morning here to our morning caller at BD Swiss. Aftermath, of course, of the Federal Reserve, we had the interest rate decision up yesterday. No change was coming through as previously expected. And also my flu is not really showing big signs of changes here. So I'm a bit on a shorter note for the day. Please excuse me for that. But I kind of trying to recover before my trip to Berlin next week, where I'm talking with of course, on a video Swiss stage uh, regarding the markets and uh, possibilities. So, what else we have on the radar today? Uh, of course, a news event in number two for the week. Uh, for the week, second biggest, I would say as well. Though we could see markets advancing a fair bit, we could see that uh, today during uh, the uh, rate decision in uh, Great Britain, we might see anything different. So, expectations so far are towards uh, six. Uh, of the guys from the committee would, uh, would uh, vote for an unchanged interest rate and uh, three of those might uh, might call for a for a vote uh, for a rate uh, cut that's the um, expectation and we yet have to see of course uh, how things will go and how of course uh, the markets the markets would decide to move in this case before we move on i have a little a quick trading idea i would like to play in the markets we could see right now that euro dollar euro dollar is on the verge of going somehow lower of the daily chart though and that's the interesting story of the daily chart it looks pretty much as we would really keep the support area and that's a kind of the important uh, uh, situation I would like to kind of uh, really talk about right now. So we could see as well, we have several times that the support area has held in the market several times that the market has not really uh, gone lower. And of course, in this case, these are important information. This is important information for us because of as much as the market kind of would decide that this level is seemingly pretty much important, we could see another one here as well we could kind of feel as well that hey look if the market should really stall out at that level if the market really should stall and uh, stand still and move potentially higher we could see potentially and that's why i left the buy stop order and we could see potentially that the market uh, the market really it takes turn it goes higher and of course in this case really uh, flirts with the 110 111 area to the upside which uh, is seemingly another interesting level for us to trade and if we then of course that's the long-term approach here. We can see a long-term approach as well on the weekly chart. The weekly looks a bit bearish. We could still see that this one could kind of give us some interesting ideas. But yet, of course, we still have today's trading and definitely tomorrow, Friday, 31st of January, the last trading day for the week and, of course, for the month. So beware of profit-taking tomorrow as well as potentially today. But the idea, of course, could be that markets could really uh, take turn. So fast forward, daily chart as said is showing us some sort of support and uh, hourly chart uh, is showing us some sort of weakness still in a way. We could see that and that was the remarkable situation yesterday. I thought yesterday the market might really take turn and go lower. Within the next couple of minutes we'll decide if we really kind of go into either direction for an option trader would be something potentially interesting because uh, we should say there is likely a breakout happening either to the upside that's at least what the what the long-term view would uh, potentially show us or to the downside which is uh, what the short-term view uh, might uh, might show us here we have this uh, sloppy movement resistance support resistance support the market in a somewhat downtrend which as we said might stop and show us some bullish momentum yet we can see that so far we have broken from that uh, support area we've broken here support 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 and then boom market broke lower if you would take it off my usual uh, usual view here of a potential great trading and entry here support area market moved higher went lower you don't sell it yet the market retouches the trend line it's not totally clear here because the trend line usually should be like this kind of uh, in this uh, favor here but if the market would really start moving lower again i think we might have an interesting point here in the next couple of minutes potentially where we could sell below the 110 1108 1105 region here but we'll assess that in just a matter of uh, a few minutes so bear with me while i'm still talking about the markets here in the next couple of minutes that there might be any the trade brewing a buy stop potentially for us here at 10 uh, 10 18 sell stop potentially at say 10 or 5 should the market move i'll have it on my other screen as well and uh, we'll we'll cover kind of uh, keep an eye on it and see if we have anything 
potentially interesting for us. So back to the uh, Bank of England. What's uh, going on today? We we might see, as said, uh, we might see that uh, there will be no change to be uh, to be coming through. That's at least the professionals' expectation. However, the chances, uh, the odds in this case here, might be showing us uh, might show us. Uh, there, were, there, there, there will be any sort of adjustment we could see as well. Yesterday markets had been pretty quiet, which of course also means that uh, today's markets uh, could really show us some sort of direction and uh, at least some movement. Yesterday we haven't seen anything much, and uh, that of course would cause around uh, right now when or not right now, but soon when when we'll meet again for the Bank of England in just a couple of hours from now that the market might move uh, might move. What I would expect as well, and that's uh, Mark Carney's words later on when he's holding the Bank of England uh, minutes, I would expect um, that there will be not a big change. I don't expect that the uh, the, uh, the uh, Bank of England will uh, reduce interest rates, but potentially uh, use some uh, negative wording, some dovish words, and uh, in this case uh, might see uh, might uh, send the markets kind of uh, lower. Which of course, on the other hand, on the other hand, uh, the uh, the markets might see a weakening potential here just because of what he might say in the press conference or during during the uh, Bank of England uh, minutes. So. Keep an eye on the, on the pound right now. We could see the market also. Let me zoom those uh, trend lines. We have been not breaking out so far from that triangle formation as of yet. We can still see the market showing this uh, slight uptrend here, this slight, uh, slight of downtrend on this, on this, uh, in this area here. So far, stuck at around the support area, and that this support area really is, is showing us potentially something something interesting support 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 market starting to potentially rise further which would be of course uh, towards a rather weakening uh, weakening the uh, US dollar on the other hand should the market really starts to regain some momentum in terms of the US dollar strength we might see what also could be seen here and that's uh, following the long term chart another sell stop that we still have that order on someone asked me yesterday what I'm thinking about the pound generally I would be rather bearish just because the resistance area has not been broken. We have bigger red than blue candles here. And simply that's uh, one of the most important uh, trading idea from my side. Let the candlesticks show us the way and build your own mindset around it and uh, try to find interesting uh, levels where you could enter or exit the markets based on what the candlesticks show us. I'm honest with you as well. As of recently, my trades have not been uh, utterly performing, performing utterly well, but uh, definitely it's not time for me to adjust my strategy. I know that it's always uh, throughout the year, sometimes when trading will be a bit tougher. And of course, that's when your risk management uh, comes into, uh, kicks in, where you would say as well, of course, uh, based on the risk taken by your trades, you will not have any problems with, it, with your account. Just simply following the strategy. Don't look for any other strategies. Don't uh, really readjust everything you've learned. Just uh, apply it and uh, wait for the times when the markets give you what they what they what they put could potentially offer. Because as well, we can't say we make money day in day out in trading. Just we can only uh, respond to what the markets offer us and then uh, act uh, accordingly. So in this case, um, we potentially see the long term trend here, and I'm uh, changing a bit from being a uh, quite bullish prior to uh, uh, seeing this as a rather slight negative outlook as if this support level would be broken here we might see a bit of a downturn movement coming the market has been in a triangle as we've just observed here looking at the daily chart volatility starts to get even lower right volatility as in the swing up bigger swing low swing up swing low swing up swing low and now we are kind of as you would say potentially breaking out already but uh, wait first for a confirmation and that confirmation might be first of all we're trying to grab uh, grab it here um by the tail as donald trump would potentially say here um uh, before the market really falls we try to to uh, to, uh, to really uh, get into that trade the second op uh, opportunity of course might uh, might come if you would say okay you wait for the market to break lower usually come back up to retest and then uh, take the trade for the second time but we'll try to to get in uh, beforehand and uh, looking for another opportunity here for the markets to go lower um, at first so that's how we do and uh, look for the other uh, pound i see potential weakness before the news event already you can see the market is simply not bullish do you see the market going up or do you see the market going down is the question i'll see the market currently as being in a rather box you would maybe say being rather sideways, but on the verge of breaking lower, which uh, which is being shown here right now 
by the falling downtrend. Simply the, the, the resistance line here, higher, lower high, lower high, and then the market breaks lower, usually towards a support area, uh, the market being pushed lower, as if you have like a, a huge, a huge a big hand coming from above, one of the big, uh, uh, one of the big guys here is standing next to you, security guard who's pushing you down and then eventually you'll really fall off the cliff, falling lower. That's exactly how I would see the situation. And hence, uh, of course, that's all I can do is all only uh, follow a short trend here in the market. So rather negative and of course, I'm not looking for any confirmation, but we have some confirmation always in trading. It's kind of uh, important for you to find potential entry and exit points and uh, potentially interesting zones, which uh, then you might see, okay, you got confirmation from fundamental analysis, a fundamental trader who looks at the news, would look in the markets to see potentially any interesting uh, setups based on, on some technical patterns. But for us here, I'm a technical trader and I'm getting the confirmation here, of course, as we would understand currently that uh, 50%, at least 50%, that's at least what I read uh, uh, as of recently, 50% of traders or investors alike um, would look for uh, for potentially any any uh, short side of things here as an a rate decrease from Arcani. And if that should uh, come through, of course, uh, then we definitely would uh, would see potentially, we would uh, would see then the uh, pound getting much uh, weaker. So that's it, what the pound is concerned. And um, what's coming through later, of course, a big information, a big story. Yesterday, what we've seen, and uh, that was something mixed for the uh, US dollar, that the market responded uh, differently. So uh, luckily we didn't trade the Euro Australian dollar. I felt like I didn't want to take that uh, that short trade, even though it looked pretty promising at first, uh, but we could see as well the same story happening. The market started to fall lower and then boom, eventually rocketed up again. And we can see that resistance zone, which we've uh, observed during our trading had sli likely been broken to the upside. So you can take it uh, with the two things. Either you can say, okay, the market really starts breaking higher or you wait for another confirmation for the market to come lower again in order to take a long trade on this side. But um, what we can see right now, and that's a, a pretty interesting situation, this zone here, the support level there, resistance level here, the weekly R3 level we are talking about um, might really been broken higher. We could see potentially that really the Australian showing us some further weakness. And if we are com comparing the two, we can see a weekly chart on the Euro Aussie pushing up, weekly chart on the Australian dollar rather pushing low and pushing down, and a weekly chart, of course, on the Euro dollar uh, pushing down, but at major support area. Right. Of course, if the Euro falls off the cliff here and really goes lower a big time, you might see the Euro Australian pair a changing direction because the Australian has been has been has gone lower already. But of course, we can see that it's a big breakout above resistance area. In this case, I would say that potentially this breakout might really show us that there's some further demand ahead and that the euro could stay a bit stronger here, at least for now. Commodity currencies have not performed quite well. We can see the Australian dollar is one of the commodity currencies, lots of iron ore, diamonds, and all that stuff uh, being digged out from uh, Australian uh, soils. And um, those uh, commodity currencies, as well as potentially in conjunction with gold and oil, and have not performed well as of recently. The Kiwi as well, New Zealand dollar going much lower. New Zealand dollar is one of the commodity currencies in the, uh, well, somewhat uh, commodity currency as well. And then as well, we can see our other uh, position here. We've had the uh, the, uh, the euro canadian dollar slightly weakening right now also potentially the, the oil market which has a bit of an impa in, uh, impact on this we can see oil market well, ready to break potentially lower china coronavirus i would say had, has at least a quite a bit of an impact should the support zone be uh, broken here and we might see the market going lower again remember sars uh, 17 years back uh, Cost 20, 25 percent uh, um, uh, uh, oil, oil uh, plummeting oil price. We could see the same happening with Corona right now, and potentially even beyond, as the infected cases have grown beyond the SARS level here, and hence a, a, a weakening oil price uh, might still might still be present here. Yet I believed as well before that uh, the Canadian dollar. That was the idea here. The Canadian dollar is showing us some strength potentially against the euro, and as long as we don't kick beyond the uh, resistance area here we have a short the short candle here we have a candlestick which is showing some a negative demand here or a push towards the canadian dollar yet of course the, the real entry level should only be below that support area still i believe as well as long as we don't uh, close beyond the 146.20 level 
the market should be in a good side here for potentially further short 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 positionings here uh, um, um, uh, like so what else are we having now i have to look at my window that's the one here uh looking back to the euro right now as i said an hourly chart we can't see anything right now we have a bit of a, a confirmation here as some sort of bullish uh, a bullish pattern here this one doji candle usually says the uh, the underlying trend would be taken over we can see right now and that's the uh, promising part here the market starts and let's observe in the next 15 20 minutes here even uh, after the webinar the market starts going higher first which could tell us for the uh, hourly chart the first half an hour up the second half an hour down could be uh, to the to the to the to the half hour for you guys um, it could mean that the market really starts going lower later in the day and we could see potentially that initially the downtrend uh, it kicks in first uh, before at least we uh, will uh, really arrive towards the news event from the bank uh, of England. Bank of England, as I said, uh, we've talked about, uh, of course, earnings front here, and uh, we can see as well, no, that's the wrong window, earnings front, we can see that uh, Tesla uh, was beating forecasts, the Tesla share price uh, really went up. <coughs> oh, excuse me, Tesla share price uh, went up uh, went up um, a little bit markets uh, uh, forecast was was beaten information we got here there was uh, that um, the prices soared as much as 14 percent after official trading hours to about 660 dollars um, so we're still here with our closing price of Swiss at 580 so potentially we could see still uh, quite a bit of an upbeat as well yet the entire market situation and uh, remember as well facebook shares Facebook shares have been lost since uh, since they had the, the worst the worst quarter quarter in uh, their entire history. So we could be prepared for something negative. We can see something happening right now. The recent rebound in stocks is potentially showing a shift of uh, of uh, uh, investor sentiment. Market went lower, tried to go higher as of what well, was it uh, Tuesday. Tuesday slightly higher, yesterday then sideways, and today, boom, we could see uh, a move uh, to the downside. Same occurs here in the Dow Jones and also in, in NASDAQ, which is interesting because we are still in our NASDAQ short. That's back to entry. And uh, that would be the hottest pick potentially here for a trade uh, should we see any further negative movement. I would even call it another trade alert potentially here. Uh, towards uh, towards uh, early next week, uh, we could see that really the market starts dropping much lower. If uh, we should see any a negative candle here, let me show what I mean. A fresh chart. Now you can see if we should see any sort of a pin bar, any sort of a negative candlestick here, we might uh, we might see the market turning much lower, meaning long way to the upside. Only small body right now. We are still kind of uh, in a way uh, as a as a sort of a neutral candle, but something like this with an even longer wick to the upside could confirm a downtrend is uh, starting to, to starting to emerge here in the in the uh, in, in the Nasdaq. But as I said, we have to observe it first. Confirmation again we get from gold. That one is on the verge of breaking higher and that simply shows that we could potentially go long here. So another long trade for sure uh, from my side, another small opportunity here potentially. We could see stop loss has to go quite low below the support area here, at least I would say, in order to see potentially prices going higher. It's a bit, uh, I'm still a bit uh, on the side of uh, on the side of here um, a, a, a negative trading environment. Uh, currently, what I expect definitely is still the same situation that uh, risk off would take uh, take over the markets, and uh, that's exactly why I'm uh, I'm still on this side of the coin here. We can see the market um, has played out the resistance area, had somehow corrected slightly lower resistance play, now turning support as of uh, recent weeks here. Now we could see markets turning higher. Gold euro, same story potentially also uh, similarly to the to the US dollar yet we have left already that resistance area quite nicely and we are still in a pretty bullish month here for now and as much as the uh, the, the media doesn't report on it uh, as much as I find it even more interesting let's see when gold potentially hits the 1500 mark then potentially media will report oh now it's time to buy when uh, when we have already of course uh, been into the market itself. All we talked about, gold, we talked about S&P, so we should say, have a look on the on the German DAX here, which is a bit of an unfortunate situation, but I wouldn't mind very much if we are getting stopped out with this trade here, we might flip also to the short side of things here. 
because we are still in our short trade, of course, in the S&Ps, the Nasdaqs, and the Dow Joneses, potentially plural here, and um, we are seeing a bigger, bigger correction coming. Looking at it from the Dow Jones monthly point of view, you can see that's the clear turning down candle, I would uh, see at least, and uh, looking at potentially some, uh, some trend lines here, doesn't totally fit here if you would like to combine the high prices here, but what you can see as well is that, that uh, after kind of breaking higher here, and that's interesting here to see, right? resistance, resistance, resistance broken, Retouched and then now, oh, that's it, a market pushing lower. That would call for me at least for an interesting area towards uh, towards further falling prices here. But again, that's my assumption here. And uh, that's how I am and why I'm kind of uh, on the negative side of things here, at least uh, with, with the stock markets. Uh, moving last but not least uh, towards the yen pairs, our short here in the euro yen is underway, we can see and that one clearly back to entry the support area has been broken and also i see the same story happening right so if the market should really stall out here resistance area bearish candle we could see any potential push here shahab was asking me as well right now hey buddy hope uh, trading went well for you as well here gold and oil i talked about your other questions here uh, each question by the way is one beer so you owe me three beers for now euro yen uh, is really pushing lower and we could see potentially further downside momentum which is what i expect at least uh, to come to come through soon uh, uh, the market movement to the downside here as well market movement to the downside pretty much a, a matter of time i would believe uh, especially with the with the uh, with the, uh, with the uh, currency markets and uh, the stock markets pretty much under pressure right now dollar japanese yen dollar slides showing slides of strength towards safe haven swissy is underway as well the swissy we'll have a look at in a minute swiss franc appreciating not a currency i like to trade usually but uh, dollar yen under pressure so yen it could take over keeping an eye on pound yen also that one on a tumbling pound is right now showing a momentum towards the jeppy and uh, the same story which is the trade we took uh, could uh, show us some momentum also in the sorry in the euro towards the japanese yen it's a bit prematurely potentially but i wanted to enter the market here before potentially being too late and uh, as said i'm seeing quite a bit of momentum towards the downside and that's exactly how and why we trade that and then now uh, last one before forgetting it uh, we traded yesterday the dollar swissy that one on the way towards target we could soon move uh, stop loss to entry and um, looking at it from a daily point of view we got yesterday exactly what uh, expected in a way it's always a it's always a bit tough thing to say as expected but uh, when the market started moving lower when i said yesterday we might be on the verge of seeing a potentially weakening weakening uh, weakening the uh, us dollar over time and we might see a strengthening in uh, in risk uh, risk off or safe haven currency pairs that's exactly what we are seeing right now so yesterday market went up then we had the interest rate decision from the fed a long night for me market went low and I, I said hey we might see a bit of a downturn candle coming through we saw that not quite on the four hourly chart but uh, on the daily chart we got exactly what uh, what we see as a potential great turning candle small body long wig up means down uh, uh, small a small body long wig down means market goes up not quite but uh, quite often the case and that's exactly what's happening right now so market on the way towards uh, giving us potentially some nice profit here They're looking promising i don't see anything why the market should uh, rocket up especially with gold going higher and stock markets uh, correcting further so that's it for my position um mitch is also that's cool mitch to have you around here as well hope you were able as we spoke prior on our phone call here i hope you were able to to close your your position you were still in the long position here the long position of uh, of the of the of the uh, pound us dollar hope you could exit at somehow here at that area though i would admit as well it looks pretty much as a bullish trend and i was saying as well it could have been that the bullish breakout would be happening but right now it's looking utterly bearish if i were you i would uh, potentially rather see see the short opportunity and uh, would say goodbye to my long trade because the big red candles are taking over comparing those uh, to uh, to the blue bullish candles yes you closed both you and gl longs last night okay perfect great uh both at entry as i didn't have a good feeling about them cool that's great to hear guys happy trading for the day and uh, the more i talk the more i feel getting better as well it's always great to be involved in the markets see how it goes here yes short trade 
not really the interesting one for me at the moment. If this, cha this situation changes here, we might add uh, another shot below the 110 area. If the market starts reclimbing the resistance area, we might see so we might see still the market of course entering our towards our entry price which would of course follow then and that's the the, the potentially longer term happening idea here right now over the long trade of things here due to the big support area which is which is showing us that potentially a demand in euro is picking up guys happy trading thanks for everyone tuning in and uh, getting back here to you guys later on take care bye bye